Well, Professor Clements back with you as we uh, study electromagnetic waves. I want to talk in this video about how the electromagnetic waves are produced. So we'll focus our attention really, this is really uh, section two of the chapter 24 material. So last time I talked a little bit about Hertz experiment that a spark will create an electromagnetic wave. We need to break this down just a little bit and uh, study what's happening here. Um, the spark do you think there are any electrons moving in this uh, spark uh, event? And the answer is yes. There's a current going across here when the spark occurs. And there are electrons being accelerated. The key concept for the production of electromagnetic waves, uh, one way to produce them, is that uh, charge is accelerated. When that happens, the laws of uh, electricity and magnetism state that there will be a electromagnetic wave produced. We're going to modify this a little bit when we study the atom, and there's a different uh, 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 set of circumstances controlled by some different laws of physics, but this is good enough to start with. We want to uh, you know, just say that we create electromagnetic wave by accelerating electrons. So here we have perhaps a radio antenna, an AC generator, the circle with a sine wave inside, AC generator, and that's going to create a variable electric field, variable strength, and there's going to be a variable force on the electrons. They're going to be pushed back and forth along this antenna, this wire, and as they do so, they're accelerated, they create an electric field, that electric field creates a magnetic field, and away we go. We have an electromagnetic wave uh, being produced. Um, again, charges being accelerated along the antenna here. Um, we get the creation of electric field, and from that we get the creation of a magnetic field. Uh, we are not going to go into you know, the technicalities of how we build antennas of a certain length, a certain size, um, a lot of interesting effects that occur there. And that's why you see uh, you know, antennas of different sizes on cars, on homes, um, at, at the TV station, the radio station, and so forth. Um, let's talk a little bit more about this wave. As it's moving away here from the antenna, here's our velocity, C. Again, electric and magnetic fields perpendicular to each other and perpendicular to the velocity. Do you think this is a longitudinal wave or a transverse wave? Longitudinal or transverse? And you should say transverse. The uh, vibration here is perpendicular to the velocity. A longitudinal wave, like sound, the medium there vibrates back and forth parallel to the direction of the velocity. So we have a, a, a transverse wave. And this wave, again, does not need a medium. So sunlight, sunlight, the sun doesn't have a bunch of antennas sticking around its surface. But uh, light from the sun, electromagnetic wave, does not need a medium to carry energy to the Earth. Um, oops, a little bit too far there. There's some interesting uh, facts about the relationship of the electric and the magnetic field strengths. The uh, magnetic field actually can be calculated in Teslas equal to the electric field value in volts per meter divided by the speed of light. So there's a connection between the uh, strength of the electric field, the strength of the magnetic field, and that connection is the speed of light. Um, when this electric, uh, electromagnetic wave gets to the receiver, uh, especially the electric field will push electrons in the antenna and uh, give us a signal. So we generate electromagnetic wave in classical physics by accelerating charged particles. Again, um, realize we're going to be modifying this a little bit with knowledge that uh, occurred in the early 1900s. Um, but for right now, when we accelerate charged particles, we'll say we'll get this electromagnetic wave um, being produced. So that's where we're going to stop, a little short video here on the uh, production of electromagnetic waves. The acceleration of charged particles produces an electromagnetic wave.
in most circumstances. We'll modify this later 